Students brought their best business pitches to showcase their big ideas at the Big Idea Competition held at the UTRGV Center for Innovation and Commercialization in Wessico on October 20th this year. So I think you're on to something I think you could take off depending on how you market it or brand it. General, just knowing the native plants, they're going to last longer, they're going to maintain themselves, there's less maintenance, exactly. as well as we're in a nice um, migratory path. And while students eagerly await to hear the results, So now I'm going to introduce the winners. Let's show you how things looked earlier that day. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Shadon Sakib. I am with uh, Smart Head Sensor. And uh, we're basically aiming to improve vital sign monitoring for professionals in the highest fields. I have developed a trustworthy software uh, detecting tool, which will detect vulnerable softwares. Well, hello, everyone. This is the third annual competition, so this is part of what we're doing with the Blackstone Launchpad. So this is to create an entrepreneurial culture on campus, and so we want our students to feel very comfortable in taking their ideas to see if, if they're viable, if there was a commercial application to what they're doing, and this is bringing those students together to pitch those ideas. If, if a student uses this, what can he get or buy? or? Exchange? What, what, what? That's a great question. Uh, well, first partner with local businesses because we want to support local. Uh, so we'll tell them, okay, so what kind of benefits can we offer? If it's a pizza place, maybe it's a free side because that is a pizza. One thing I always tell people that you have to be open to fail. You have to be able to learn from previous experiences. That's what will make you a better entrepreneur moving forward. To be in front of an audience and have everyone listen to me, it felt great. And I really want to make a change. I really want this device to exist here in the Valley, here in the U.S., and worldwide as well. A lot of practice and uh, dedication to this. We feel really strongly that we're one of the, the top candidates here, but the competition was, was really good. Everybody really showed up today. And now, it's time to hear the results. For third, third place is V-Line. I honestly didn't even know what to expect. It could have been anybody, but I was very excited and it just felt like a certain rush whenever my name was called. And our second place winner is Ha Ha. All the competitors were really strong uh, and this was a really good turnout and we're, we're happy to be a part of it. What's the next step for you guys? I want to take a nap. I'm really tired. For, for, that's the next step when I have Tomorrow we home. start on our venture. And our first place winner is Expander. I think it's really exciting. Now I can move on to the next step. I can start prototyping, talking with experts. I think, like, I'm just so excited for the next step. What we say is that innovation and ideas are agnostic to where they come from. So you don't know where they're coming from, and they don't all come from business, they don't all come from STEM, and they don't all come from health. What we want to do is foster more great ideas that turn into innovations that lead to economic development in the Valley.